look. I know what this movie is. It's an alien hedgehog with super speed fighting an evil scientist and interdimensional echidna for the power of a magical green emerald. It's not trying to be anything else. It's not trying to be a serious drama with immensely complex characters and themes. So I'm judging it for what it is. A silly video game adaptation. And... It's not bad. It's not great by any means, but it's not terrible. I could absolutely rip this movie apart for the many plot conveniences, dumb characters, cheesy lines, lack of substance, but that's too easy. Every critique I have of this film is what I view as an actual flaw in the story of the universe they're trying to establish. So just so you know, I'm not comparing this to any other film, and I'm not holding it to an unrealistic standard. Does this work as a Sonic movie? This is what I think. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. First off, the characters. Sonic was pretty good. He had that fun, spry personality to him from the last movie that can sometimes almost get too annoying. I'm not sure I laughed at a single thing he said, and he makes a lot of jokes. He's your prototypical main hero that has a lesson to learn and has to realize who he's really meant to be. Thinking of it, he's basically a straight ripoff of Peter Parker, losing his parents, constant deflection with humor, journey of learning responsibility. He's really at his best when he's paired with Knuckles' straight pan and dry demeanor. Him saying something that Knuckles didn't understand was actually quite entertaining. And wow, Knuckles was definitely the best part of this movie. He's a lot like Drax in the way that he doesn't understand humor, and everything is about honor and being a noble warrior. Whether it's fighting Sonic in an ancient temple in order to gain the strongest power in the universe, or just playing baseball with them, he took them as equally serious. And it didn't matter who he was talking to, Sonic, Tails, Robotnik, Tom, he was endlessly entertaining. And I really liked the parallel between him and Sonic because they both lost their parental figures and became loners because of this war that happened in the past. They just handled it in different ways. It brought up some really touching moments towards the end when they team up, and I liked it. Tails was a bit weaker in the sense that he's just a Sonic fanboy. He comes to this universe to warn Sonic of the upcoming danger because he's been watching him like a freak. He keeps saying that Sonic is his hero and role model, so it didn't really feel like they were true friends in the end. It didn't feel like they built a natural friendship through their journey and developed it in an earned way. Tails just follows Sonic to the ends of the earth because he loves him. He was okay, but it could have been better. Robotnik was the same as last time, just Jim Carrey absolutely letting loose and going bonkers. He had a couple of lines that made me chuckle, and I think he channeled his inner Ace Ventura without going full Dumb and Dumber 2. It's not the best he's ever been, but certainly not the worst. Now, undoubtedly the weakest part of the movie was Tom and the wedding bullshit. Tom himself served his purpose as the strict parental figure that teaches Sonic a lesson about responsibility and family. But once again, the humans are the weakest part of the movie. Thankfully, they aren't in it as much as I feared, but this wedding side plot was a waste of fucking time. Tom goes to his wife's sister's wedding in Hawaii, and we see him being intimidated by her fiance and playing volleyball with them. And every time it cut to them, I thought, why? Get back to Knuckles, please. Get back to anything other than this. But it only happens like three times, and it turns out that the wedding was just a ruse so that the FBI can capture Sonic. Even though, why would they think Tom would bring Sonic to a public wedding in the first place? They didn't know that Sonic would come in through a magical portal right into their laps, so they accidentally caught him, and it was just to build fake stakes. He gets put in a cage for about 10 minutes, then the adventure continues. The whole wedding plot was a literal waste of time. It didn't service the characters, it didn't service the story, it didn't help the pace of the movie. It was just there to give Tom something to do while Sonic went on his adventure. And then when Sonic and Tails get captured, 
the dumbest scene in the movie happens. Tom's wife and her sister take Tails' inventions and start wiping out security guards like they're John fucking Wick. It was a completely moronic five minutes that were just there to pad the runtime. Her sister is riding in a golf cart in slow motion while she's drinking wine and beating up these guys. And I was thinking, what the fuck is going on? Why is this happening? Why in a Sonic the Hedgehog movie are we focusing on Sonic's adopted dad's wife's sister getting angry at her fake FBI fiance? Holy God, this scene was pure cringe. And it was like a bad SNL skit come to life. A second contender for the worst scene in the movie is the Siberian dance-off. Yes, this is also in the movie. Sonic and Tails go to a bar in Siberia, and they have to have a dance-off in order to win the map they need and not be executed by fire. <sighs> okay, this scene is trying to be ridiculous. I get that. I'm not criticizing it for that. But did Sonic forget he has super speed? There are multiple moments where people grab the map he needs or pick him up and he just goes, ah, what are we gonna do? Uh, what do you mean? You can grab the map from the bartender lady before she can even blink. You can wiggle out of the man's arms when he grabs you, but you just aren't. They have to dumb down Sonic so many times because he's just too powerful. This scene should have been over in about 10 seconds, but they wanted a funny dance off. So they had to make Sonic forget he has powers in order to build fake stakes. And there are inconsistencies like this throughout the movie. Sonic is so fast that he can run across water, but sometimes he'll jump at Eggman and Eggman dodges out of the way in time. He'll come at Knuckles and Knuckles punches him in the face because he just wasn't fast enough in that moment? Knuckles is also fast, but not near as fast as Sonic. Sometimes, Sonic hits him multiple times while Knuckles is in slow motion, but sometimes Knuckles punches him because he forgets to move. His speed is just so inconsistent, and they break the rules that they establish. I will say, if you're a fan of Sonic, you'll probably like this movie a lot. If you just want a simple, dumb Sonic movie that has some cool action and lots of references, you might love this. Seeing Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles together, Green Hill, the Emeralds, Tom's classic ringtone, Tails flying in his red plane, Sonic using bubbles for air, Super Sonic, a tease of Shadow. There are enough references to keep the fans of the games interested, but I'm not sure if they're frequent enough to really justify the other garbage. It's like it wants to embrace the games, but not fully. For some reason, this film decides to use licensed music like It's Tricky, Barracuda, Uptown Funk, Walk by Pantera, but it never uses the music from the games. Sonic has some amazing and iconic music, and if the Green Hill Zone theme would have played during the final battle, it would have made it so much better. It seems like they go halfway when trying to give the fans what they want, and it just comes off as average. And then they kept making real world internet references that made me facepalm, like talking about Channing Tatum from Magic Mike, The Rock and Vin Diesel's Fast and Furious rivalry, referencing the Winter Soldier, flossing, Sonic saying, I live rent free in his head, or Eggman saying, there are good people on both sides, in reference to Trump. Oh. Other than Knuckles, I don't think these writers quite understand what subtle humor is. So overall, this movie is truly the definition of dumb fun. It's a great movie to take young kids to, and I'm sure they'll love it. And it's a movie that a ton of Sonic fans will be happy with. I'm a moderate Sonic fan myself. I used to love Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Blast, Sonic Advance, Sonic Spinball, and I've played many others. But I don't love it enough to be satisfied by just seeing these characters on screen doing things. I want the things that they're doing to be interesting, and a lot of it just wasn't for me. 
This movie really is a big balancing act. Every great reference is balanced out by a generic character choice. Every good action scene is balanced out by an inconsistent character moment. Every funny line is balanced out by a terrible one. Every emotional scene is balanced out by a scene that makes me feel nothing. It's a fun, inconsistent, decent action film that is good for fans of the franchise. Or if you just want to put it on in the background while you're eating ramen noodles. It's not offensive in any way, but it's far from excellent. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gets 5.5 out of 10 pickles from me. Tighten up the storytelling, take away the ridiculous side characters, don't try to pander so hard to millennials with the humor, and the third one might be a great Sonic movie. So, what do you guys think? Am I crazy or do you agree with me? Who is your favorite Sonic character? Let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you listening to my useless opinion. And, until we meet again, peace out.